If Sabari Bowen were still around to see, as we did this afternoon, the panorama of a city transformed and an airstrip painstakingly and lovingly renovated into a state-of-the-art airport hugging the Caribbean coastline, we suspect he would have been proud to see the finished product of a conversation he had many years ago with a first-time government minister from the island he called home. In my early days, after having taken over the Ministry of Civil Aviation in our first administration, the late Sir Barry Boeing, being a good friend of mine, approached me and said, Junior, because that is the way he called me, Junior, why don't we try to do something great at the municipal airport? And I said, Barry, but it's all about money. And he would reply, we can get it done, you know. I can help either to get it financed or to help you design that. And the initial concept plan was paid indeed by, by Sir Barry. He paid for the initial uh, plans of this one and we just expanded on that afterwards. His widow, Dixie Bowen, and their children carry on in his memory. We are all delighted. We um, are extremely proud. Um, every day that we fly in here, whether it's Michael in, in his airplane or myself and generally Tropic, I will remember fondly my late husband and I, I just, the family feels very, very proud. And while for the Bowen family it is a personal triumph, for Minister Heredia it culminates an extensive government project dedicated to expanding the services offered by our airports. In 2008, this administration noted the critical importance of our domestic airports to our economy and at that time began an unprecedented campaign to enhance our local aerodromes across the country. While we have been able to invest substantial resources in our aerodromes, the Belize City Municipal Airport remained a central point of our national aerodromes development strategy. The direct contribution of this municipal airport to the travel and trade in Belize cannot be overemphasized. Between 2011 and 2015, our travel services at BAA's aerodromes countrywide were offered to 1.2 million passengers. Of this total, 730,000 either landed or departed from this very airport, establishing it as the unrefuted hub for domestic air travel in Belize. This was the main premise for our investment, along with enhancing our compliance with international civil aviation standards. As the Minister in Charge of Tourism and Civil Aviation, I am delighted to share with you that we have exceeded this initial vision and have indeed made this airport into one of the premier domestic airports in our region. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.